Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio Basics or maybe Advanced Tutorial where we do a thing which is seen basically on the screen, a map where you got some points of interest and then you can just jump to those uh, slots, points, whatever you want to call that or places where you want to well enter and then you just go into the game. This will be a super short setup. So basically three to four minutes, maybe five. Let's see um, quickly how we can set up the whole shenanigans and make this easy peasy going through and then uh, some advanced stuff in quotations <laughs> because we want to hover a little bit and then let these buttons or locations blink. That's pretty much it. So if you're up for the challenge, in quotations, stick around. This is a one up indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing, of course. So basically, this is how a new setup would look like. So basically, you got nothing on the screen. We got some sprites, which is the map. Then those two orbs, we, we, we will just use the gray one for now. And then the sword, which is indicating uh, well, where we are pointing. So the first thing which we're going to do, this is of course the cheap man's way how to do that. Not recommended, but of course it's actually possible. So we just <laughs> drag that map in. By the way, all the resources are free. Link in the description below. Or if you're a patron, this will be of course free to use and abuse. And then let's go into our camera settings. Just set this up very, very quickly. As you can see, I'm not really doing anything. I just want it to, let's stretch that, do it like this, boom. And then uh, this is the lazy man's way how to do that. And of course it already works. And then the next thing which we want to have is two objects, which are basically holding a few things. So first of all, our pointer, which is our sword. So not like that and then our second object which is our spot or the thing where we are jumping to this will be super super easy stuff so first of all let's give those dudes their sprites so for example for the spot this thingy here and then the sword for our pointer then basically we just go into our instances and plant a few spots so for example here could be one or maybe here here uh, and here or whatever and then of course we just drag our pointer it's a little small so let's make it bigger even bigger no i guess this is this is good so here we go and then let's make it here and then for example what we do and this is basically <laughs> we are pretty much almost finished we just say like hey if we are clicking with our mouse so if we release the left mouse button what do we do well we just jump with our pointer well we set its x on it's x to our so basically of the spot which we are clicking on and the same we do for our y value and then basically we are done just a quick little reminder um, those things are centered in the middle so basically the sword will jump to the x y position of the well our spot in the middle and our sword is centered here at the bottom so therefore it will automatically jump and then we're pretty much finished for the basics part how many minutes? Four, yes. And as you can see, that was pretty much it. So basically we just click somewhere, nothing, but we click on the spots and boom, we got ourselves a neat looking uh, overworld map. But of course, if you're thinking like, hey, one up indie, I wanna do the extra stuff. Hey, let's go and jump right into it. For that, we need animation curves. Let's kill those ones which we have used here for the demonstration and well create two so first of all the first one would be mm, the one for the hovering and then because that looks kind of boring so let's set this up and then give it a few values so let's say mm, one and then 0 0.5 but of course you can do that the way you like uh, not like this 0 0.5 i said come on and then uh, let's make it smooth and then we are pretty much finished. So here is our first animation curve and that we're gonna store and check and read out from our pointer. So for that, we just need a step and a create event. And first of all, because this is then a standard, first of all, we need to get our animation curve. So we store that into a variable. 
so boom get curve and then animation get a channel and then we need the one the one which we created so here we go and boom we are pretty much done and then we need a percentage because that thing is a value between zero and one because we're gonna update it so if you are a little bit unsure about animation curves link in the description below how you can uh, access them but this is then the quick way how we do this so the first thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna update our percentage and then here for example this is a full time so let's say three seconds we have one going from zero to one or zero to zero yeah from zero to zero and then we just say like hey uh, loop that thing so as you can see this will be an infinite looping and for now this is basically doing nothing so this would be quite useless so we just say like hey we store in our variable the animation uh, channel evaluate so basically this is just getting back the value which we stored here so it goes from 0 to 1 and then what kind of values do we have along the way and then it's just reading out the ones and then here this is just one of course if you like you can say like hmm I want to do it automatically to let's go 5 so as you can see a little bit higher then we just say like hey cool let's set our position of our sword our y and then it is equals plus our position so here this isn't working of course too good so therefore we need kind of a static y value so y last or whatever you want to call that so y boom and then we just set it to that and then it will hover at the last y position then going up and down and of course once we are jumping uh, we would be overwriting that so we just say like hey uh, and then we got first our first thing which is the hovering so as you can see now we are hovering which is pretty sweet so as you can see now you can just increase the value if you like in the animation curve or just multiply it this is of course then up to you and then the next thing which we want to do is colorize or make this small subtle blink for that we just well copy that to do it here and call it blink and then just change a little bit a few of those values so first of all mm, let's go to one and then for example we want to draw the one thing which is always already below that here and then we want to draw over that the green dude here so the green orb and then yeah, we want to make it a little bit more visible so not completely zero so we just start with let's say 0 0.5 uh, to 0 0.5 and let's go with 0 0.4 to 4 and then we're gonna do the same stuff which we did in our uh, pointer first of all we are grabbing once again the curve so copy pasting stuff easy peasy stuff boom getting our animation curve but this one for our blinking as you can see uh, we are just doing the same stuff again and then we're just taking once again the whole thing we can just copy that over if we like and could have a step event uh, we can actually do that in the draw it doesn't really matter and now we want of course to draw ourselves so draw ourselves boom and then we are drawing uh, a sprite which is this one which has just a different alpha value and then we are pretty much done so what kind of sprite we want to use this one here zero and then our same position the same scaling show y scale come on no rotation no blending or whatever we don't need that and then an alpha value which is then which we just call alpha and this will be our thing which we're gonna update it to so here alpha <laughs> here here we go set it to zero or one doesn't really matter because this thing is getting overwritten instantly almost instantly and then we just say like hey our alpha we do set it to what well the position which we are reading out and then once again if we are going into our blinking it will go between 
0.4 and uh, 1 and then back to 0.4 and then we got our uh, thingy here which is for the bling bling so once again as you can see it's it's fading in and out and looking smoothly so that was it from my side for hopefully you enjoyed this because i, I thought like hey this could be cool as a quick setup for i don't know for a neat little overworld looking good all the resources are free so you can create your own maps with that uh what can i say <laughs> good stuff overall Alrighty, that was it from my side have a good one one up indie